exciting stuff today. We've got Audison's new APF 8.9 bit. Has nearly tripled the power of the, the current 8.9 bit. Um, the current 8.9 bit is a wicked piece of kit, especially from an integration point of view. Uh, the only place really it was lacking was its power. You kind of had to bridge it up to get you know any sort of decent power from it. That was 35 watts per channel, eight active DSP channels with a DSP output channel, 0.9. Um, this is uh, eight times 85 watts per channel, um, 150 watts of two ohms. If you spec your drivers correctly, you can get a bunch more power from it. And 300 watts times four at four ohm, that'll be in a bridged configuration. So link them up to a couple of sleigh lamps and bridge the hell out of them and yeah, plenty of power, tiny footprint. I'm going to unbox this now, it's the first one in the UK, um, and uh, I've not opened it yet, so I don't really know what to expect. I think it might be a little bit bigger than the, eight, than the original 8.9, but it certainly won't be too big. Software and associated manual. It's pretty much the same to set up, I'm sure, as the 8.9. Um, I see there's some pretty cool software updates. So the, the software might change slightly. It is larger than the original 8.9. It has to be really. That's the. Um, so it's still quite small, but three times the power. There has to be some form of compromise. It's quite an impressive size, so it's not huge. I mean, that's a compact disc size, sort of DVD. As you can see. Pinouts and stuff on the bottom to help for installation. Toss link in, USB for software control, pre input, speaker input, and speaker output all on sort of flyleaf plugs. So, yeah, full DA, which bodes well with us. High, def high definition car audio, studio in car. These are available here now. Um, like I say, this is the first one. I'm pretty sure all of the original order is sold. We should see some more quite soon. Fly leads for RCAs. These are for high level and low level input, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, the unit will detect what you're using. It'll sum input. So, if you've got an active amplifier currently, sum those the inputs and give you a linear, linear output signal. They've included these. Um, this was a bit of a snag with the last one. Was you, you when you install these quite tight to another amp, you put a kick on the cable like so. They were um, they were snagging the actual barbs because it's quite a lot of strain to put on it. So they've included these sort of formed molds around the cables that secure the cable. So I don't know if you can see that, but. It stops any any strain from that end of the cable or the other. It's quite a cool touch. Um, DRC socket, so it can, can be controlled with the DRC AB or the DRC MP. I'm not too sure if it can be controlled with the uh, the original silver DRC at present. I think that's being phased out as we go along. But um, pretty excited to get this installed have a listen to it because uh, it's all the 8.9 bit has ever needed really is uh, there's a ton more power and now we've got it info at studioincar.com if you want to know anything or give us a call we'll put everything down below